guys, we finally got the interview we've been waiting for. Guys, I turned it into a, a podcast where the developers uh, and community managers uh, answer some burning questions from the community. Uh, things like uh, FPP mode, uh, solo mode, the new map that's coming, hero changes, gun changes. Everything that we know about Far Light 84 might be changing going into 2024. Guys, please just keep in mind that these things are not all set in stone and, and might not reflect the end result going into 2024. Um, it's just a general insight on what could be coming and the future plans uh, for Far Light 84. We got notable figures like Lazy Kaz and Chance uh, answering all your questions in, in this interview. Guys, please, this uh, video is very long, so just uh, make sure to watch it from start to end. Uh, grab your popcorns, grab your drinks, uh, just chill out, relax, and watch it all the way through because there's some key important points that you do not want to miss. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get right into the podcast. Hello, this is Lacey Cass. Okay, so my question, and I'm speaking for uh, Warta, one of our topest creators, uh, Kaib Fadu, yeah. uh, Cyber, Tygon, uh, Icy, uh, Private Ryan, and Sleepy Soul. Um, I have some questions here for you guys. Please allow me to take my time because this is <clears throat> a lot, uh, and I'm speaking for a lot of people because they cannot uh, currently speak. Um, elevating okay. uh, elevating the movement in uh, 2024 <clears throat> in the competitive landscape of 2024 the importance of dynamic movement mechanics cannot be overstated Farlight 84 players have experienced uh, concern about gaming movement options in comparison to Apex Legends and Fortnite Mobile uh, the recent jetpack um, enhancement or altercation will that change the complete like movement dynamic of Farlight 84 and how will it enhance it? Next year, um, the new map, which is coming very soon, will completely change that. And I can't, I, I don't want to talk, well, I don't want to talk about it uh, any more than that, but... Um, uh, right, so, so all you can say is that it will get better, not worse. Yes, the moving dynamics will get better. And uh, with the new map, we actually want to design um, the map in a way where the clusters of buildings and clusters of um, the city landscape are closer to each other so right. that the movements of heroes within the map will become way easier without um, a lot of, you know, um, how should I put it? Without a lot of um, time wasted on um, move, uh, just moving around without much to do. Right. If okay. that makes sense for you. Yeah, that makes, that sense. makes sense. And that goes back to Ty. Right, right. So that goes back to Tygon's video where he emphasizes on the intricates of movement and why the other battle royales are like ahead of their time and ahead of the game because of the uh, movement dynamics, <clears throat> which yep. which is good. I don't, I don't agree with some of the comments or points I see with high uh, high energy heroes, though. The reason being that high, first of all, high energy hero is. It, um, uh, to us, it's, it's more of um, just an Apex successor in a way. Um, and and it's, it's not, um, and the aesthetics are not on par with what we want to offer. All right. So, um, and on the other, yeah, and on the other hand, uh, the jetpacks, we do agree that the jetpacks are an important part of the or identity of Farlight 84. So um, when we when we talk about we we need to change part of it um, for the sake of gunplay, for the sake of you know uh, you know first person perspective, um, and for the sake of the general uh, gameplay experience um, for a shooter title, we are a shooter game uh, first and foremost, and that's really very important to remember. 
uh, we we do bear that in mind. We do bear in mind that jetpacks are really important to Farlight 84. Um, so you will, um, I, uh, uh, well, well, all I can say for now, we are still, because we are still running a lot of play tests um, before rollout changes, um, I can't I can't share too much with you because what I share today may be a little bit different uh, from what um, is actually going to be implemented in the game. Right, uh, in right. The actual. So I don't want to share overshare with you guys, um, but uh, uh, we we are trying to implement it in a way that's comprehensive across the board, um, uh, and and, and I, I want everyone to be sure that we understand. Um, the movement dynamics, and we are not gonna, you know, make make the movements feel so much lagging behind when it comes to redesigning the jetpacks or uh, redesigning everything related to movements. Perfect, perfect. That will uh, give them some ease because they were all concerned after that announcement uh, video that you made. They were a little concerned, <clears throat> but thank you for clarifying uh, most of that. Uh, yeah. Our second yeah, question. Concerned. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Uh, second question, uh, re-evaluating the ranker to legendary system. Uh, I feel uh, right now the uh, the grind to become a legend in the game is a bit uh, tedious and you got to put a lot of work for minimum rewards. The rewards at the end of the season, in my opinion and my community's opinion, is um, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm getting an extra trail just from hitting Ace to Legendary is just an extra trail on top of it. Uh, so there is no, like, um, exclusive entrances or exclusive uh, banners or uh, skin even or, um, you know, something that will be like, oh, wow, I actually reached the rank of Legend after all my hard work. Um, so is there any changes mm. coming to that system overall and the reward system for reaching uh, the Legend, uh, the rank of Legend? Um, the season system may change um, later on in 2024, um, at least for like uh, early in the first quarter of 2024. Um, I don't see any specific uh, important changes to the way seasons work. Um, but after that, uh, moving into, you know, the second quarter or so into 2024, there will be more changes uh, to seasons. And uh, because it's still, you know, a few months away from those changes, um, uh, there will be a comprehensive change uh, to reflect um, uh, the new season idea um, for 2024. So um, I, I don't have uh, more information to share, but I will take note on that um, and share with uh, everyone in the dev team. Right, right. I want to send you a video after this meeting of um, like something that Apex implemented. So basically when you get to the predatory rank, you have like a, a main lobby entrance where you like glow in the, bo in the, in the, in the back and like something more visually stunning. And you mm -hmm. can only get it from reaching that certain rank, the highest rank in the game, which is the top 300 or the top 500 in the whole world or the region. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, right. got that. Okay, um, and I wanted to ask you about your marketing strategy going into 2024 for the game. I understand that the game is still kind of evolving and changing, um, but we shouldn't also forget that the Farlight 84 has been in beta and alpha stage for, I think, two years uh, prior to uh, global launch. So uh, my question to you is when will you guys actually start marketing to the game uh, to the global audience? Because right now, not a lot of people actually know about Farlight 84, surprisingly. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me like, oh, what, what's this game you're playing? What, what is it? I've never heard about it. What, like, what, like mm. what, do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. are we moving into that direction? Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I think, I think I should uh, talk about it from uh, the branding for perspective first and foremost. Um, right now, um, if you, if you download Farlight eighty four, install the game, open the game, and then go inside Farlight eighty four, it doesn't give you a distinct feel of what playing in Farlight 84 means for the player. When it when it comes to, for example, um, Apex Legends, um, it's a game that 
um, when you move into Apex Legends, when you open the game and enter the world of Apex Legends, you instantly get a feel of what the world feels like. Um, and that's and that's a very important reason uh, for why people um, fall in love with the game title. It's not just uh, in battle royale genre or in in shooter games. It's it it's something that uh, is really important for any game title. Um, uh, or you know when you move when 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 you go into a movie theater, it's really important. So um, it makes the, sense. The way that we look at it, yeah. The way that we look at it right now is that. Um, we are, we have to build that brand within the game. So so far, we are working on you know gameplay. We're working on more content in the game, um, uh, but at the same time, we have to look at the branding elements. And until we have a very strong brand throughout the game, um, it will be it will it will not make sense for us to you know market the game to a mass audience because we we want the audience to know. What Farda 84 means, and what Farda 84 is, and what Farda 84 should feel like, and that's coming very soon. In January, I think you will, um, in the January update, you will see um, a, a drastic change um, to how the game look and feel. And um, I, I, I'm, until that time, I know you will. It will be very difficult to understand what I mean. But you know, uh, uh, in in the January update. You will kind of get a feel of what it, what what I mean right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course, I completely um, understand where you're coming from. As long as you guys um, have a clear direction of what where you guys want to take the the game, I think uh, ultimately it will succeed for us and everybody and all the fans of Firelight Eighty Four. Um, there's a lot of people who's been grinding this game for a very, very long time and they have not given up on it and they continue to love it and support it. So it's really good um, for them to hear uh, the words coming out of your mouth about the plans for 2024. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank I wanna, you so much. You know, thank yeah, everyone. thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, the next question is um, map rotation with the introduction of the new map coming in. 2024 uh do you guys have a plan of implementing a map rotation i know me and lazy cast spoke about this uh in the dms before uh but could you tell the people what your plans are if there is any for map rotation uh locking one map uh for an hour or two and uh, forcing everyone to be in one ranked mode and one uh, map at a time and then switching the map every uh one or two hours is there any plans for that um, with the new map uh, that are uh, that is launching uh, early next year, um, the new map will will have a very different um, gameplay style compared to the other maps. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the, uh, it is actually something that we um, we announced the map earlier this year. We announced we were working on the map earlier this year. And throughout the rest of this year, the second half of 2023, we have been making so many tests and changes to the map um, according to the new philosophy that we want in 2024. So, and that's also why the map was delayed uh, from, uh, it should have been released um, uh, this year by now, uh, but it, it was delayed to next year. So um, uh, the map will, will feel quite different from the rest of the maps. Um, so right now, um, right. I'm not, I'm not confident to say that we will implement a comprehensive map rotation, um, but we we definitely know understand that, and we definitely will take that into consideration. Um, right. And uh, you know, when, yeah. Yeah. Continue. Sorry. Uh, no. You, uh, please go ahead. Um, yeah, so uh, the um, community of PC and mobile is vastly different. Um, I was kind of forced to play PC for like a whole day or two, like on during stream because um, my stream labs didn't work. And uh, the gun mechanics and the gun feels on PC is um, like day and night compared to mobile. And I know you addressed this in your uh, last announcement that you're trying to cater for both audiences, the PC and the mobile. And it's been proven quite challenging, but you're trying to find the middle ground for it. Um, I also see that P most PC players play on Lambton uh, most of the time, but then mobile players are mostly on Sunset. Um, 
uh, uh, I'm not sure it's because of visibility or color or the way the maps um, actually function. But yeah, these are the two major differences between the two. And that's why I suggested map rotation back then is to kind of, um, you know, put life into both maps. So one is not neglected and the other one is um, overly used. Hmm. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't catch your, uh, your exact question with this. Oh, sorry. No, it's still, uh, um, it's still related to uh, map rotation and why I think map rotation would do uh, wonders for the game. Um, so that you know, so that we can keep both maps and hopefully the third map that's coming uh, in a in a in a balanced rotation, so everybody experiences um, you know uh, every map equally instead of favoring one map over the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think this. Yeah, I I imagine this question will be uh, best answered when the new map arrives. Right. Um, because we do. I I I played in the new map a little bit oh I... nice wow <laughs> look at this guy huh? he's getting early access before all of us oh my god <laughs> we okay do, we do expect that the new map will be way better than the other two old maps oh. so i that is uh, that is one reason why i am not very confident about map rotation at the moment right if the new map really yeah. is so much better if the new map really is so much more loved by the players, um, it will highly affect how we approach that strategy. If right. that makes sense for you. It makes sense, yeah, perfect sense. Okay, nice. Okay, that clears it up for us. Um, okay, I wanted to address one of the most persistent issues that we've had in Farlight 84. Since the beginning of time, with every update, there comes more and more... Uh, sound and audio bug uh, issues that uh, keep on rising from one update to another um, um i don't know what you guys uh, are willing to do or going to do about the audio glitches and issues in the game um and is there like mm. a permanent fix for it uh because i think i speak for everyone here i it kind of gets worse with every update um, like sometimes you guys yeah. would would fix something and then something else would uh, rise with it or the same uh, the, the same audio bug would be there for like, you know, two to three updates like uh, walking backwards. If your teammates walks backwards, you'll also hear him right behind you, but there's no one behind you and it kind of throws you off when you're in a gunfight. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, uh, we are. We, well, you're definitely right. Um, there have been uh, quite a number of audio bugs um, in the recent updates. Um, we use a an, an, audio, an audio engine called Cryware, or in Japan they call it CRIware, um, and uh, um, we are trying very hard to work on a solution for the long run. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Uh, you're completely right. Um, we are trying to work on it. And uh, if we if we can, you know, work on a complete fix for the long run, we will still commit into, you know, fixing the bugs as soon as we as soon as we can after we, uh, we know that it exists. So um, I, I don't have a, a very good answer for that question. Right, uh, right. Yeah, we. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Um, they just they always want to hear it, even though like you know you know communication is key at the end of the day. And once they hear it from you know the community managers and the developers, that feel at ease that it is being worked on and it's not being ignored. So guys, they do listen, they do hear, and they are fixing it. Just for the people in the comments. Okay, I got last three questions, and I'll I'll leave you guys. Sorry, this is questions from like ten to fifteen people. That's why it's taking time. Um. Uh, I wanted to ask about real-time map changes in sync with holidays like, you know, Christmas, uh, New Year's, and other worldly events. Uh, we, we see in other games like uh, Warzone, uh, like Apex, and Fortnite, uh, during seasons, they would, like, change the whole map uh, just... Uh, uh, you know temporarily like that put snow all over the place that would put like a um you know uh a christmas tree in the middle of the center uh it's just temporary changes that will go away after two to three weeks uh how come we don't see farlight 84 uh doing uh, uh such things mm. Um, so one of the uh, first reason is that uh we are working on a new season uh theme 
you know, system uh, in next year. And so far, we don't actually have a, a very clear um, seasonal theme um, uh, apart from the Battle Pass theme um, that's going on uh, for a while. So uh, we're working on it for 2024. Um, I don't, I, but I, I'm not confident that we have enough resources to um, change uh, a lot of elements in the map. Um, the other thing is that we are working on the Mac boss that you see uh, in our special announcements. It is something that we expect uh, could provide a, an important, um, uh, how should I put it, an important way to customize um, uh, the maps um, throughout the year uh, so that it doesn't, it doesn't feel the same um, all the time. Um, so uh, we are also trying to tackle that from this perspective. So, uh, but there, there's not something that we are um, actively implementing. Uh, we, I also see a lot of comments on changing lobby arts. Um, yes. A sneak peek. You can, uh, you can expect that in January. Oh. Just one sneak peek. Nothing else. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Perfect. Would that be in your uh, what's next video? um in uh, for next year yes but not for the last one in 2023 <laughs> okay okay makes sense in january it's coming oh. in january oh do you think these uh, sorry the just related to the same question do you think this will happen every like every month with every changing uh battle pass uh starting uh 2024 like the the lobby will change um, when you sh when you talk about uh every month every uh battle pass every month um actually that may change next year and that's um, the battle pass in 2024 um, may not have the same cycle um, uh, as uh, this year. Uh, so far, it's been one battle pass per month. Right. Um, next year, moving into next year, um, probably in the second quarter of next year, uh, starting from second quarter of next year, um, it may change. And uh, the season the season theme will align better with the battle pass and uh, the duration of the battle pass and uh, the the season could also be longer than a month um, we are still working out all the details but uh, we're going to share everything with you and the rationale behind uh, when we are clearer about the changes right perfect so this will allow you guys and give you more time to uh, schedule things between and during seasons which i think is a great idea uh, before uh, farlight had the same thing where the i think the season lasted uh, 40 days to 45 days and a little bit longer i think that's like the middle ground which is perfect like 40 to 45 days um as long as you keep everybody busy during the season or like like you did this time like you added a an event for christmas which is um a week before the uh end of the month which is great uh putting in like login rewards uh but of course something more engaging and more uh dynamic uh like what apex has and fortnite has uh, where they introduce, um, you know, weekly events for players to collect and then maybe collect and then get a skin or collect and get a badge or whatever. Like you did with the Christmas event recently. You did like a login for like a week or 10 days, which is really nice idea. If we have, you will see it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, okay, so the... Not in real uh, versions, person updates, um, as far as I can tell. Um, nice okay so 2024 is is looking really good already um i wanted to ask you about the inspiration behind hero designs uh where did you guys uh get the inspiration for captain and michelle uh the way they look um I, I, and i don't know if a lot of people know but i saw, I, I saw some images uh i saw some images um uh that looks really similar to captain but that's not definitely not um, our inspiration. So um, I want I want to talk about a little bit about uh, the background of our character designer. Um, so um, you, a lot of you may not. Be I'm so I'm, I'm so I'm so sorry. Before you continue, it, this, it, does he come or is he related to T3 Arena by any chance? Because a lot of the community nope. are saying nope. that there is a little bit of similarities between T3 Arena and the new characters or the design of the new characters. Nope. No, but the designers, I can say the designers are friends, but, you know, they're, no, they're, they're not, you know, uh, mutually inspired, uh, inspired. Um, so, um, 
I, I want to I wanna talk about a different game that is developed by Lilith Games. Um, so in the past, I think uh, a couple of years ago, a game called This Light was released and it was uh, developed. Yeah, This Light. We, um, so the art director from This Light has actually um, started supporting Farlight 84. Mm -hmm. And you will, you can expect to see more and more um, of the trendy design elements from This Light moving into Farlight 84. Um, uh, and it's it's you, you can check it out. You can check out the game, um, and it's really aesthetically pleasing. So, oh wow, okay, that's nice. Okay, last question. This is it. I'm gonna get out out of after this. Um, the future plans for creator benefits, um, like uh, skins, uh, bundles, uh, uh, stickers, uh, and things uh, like other games uh, does, like Call of Duty Mobile. They're very known to add, uh, like you know, the Iferg skin, the Bobby skin. Will we be seeing um, like a Zack Wilder skin or an Icy skin or a Warta skin in the future? I just want to say that we are still like uh, optimizing more and more you now benefits of our creators and in the game as well as outside of game. For example, the merchandise. And uh, for, for the skins that you just mentioned, well, you actually think it actually uh, will is under consideration and it's going to take more time for, for a skin design, as you know, in the game. So, but right. that's definitely no, no, yeah. And you will have no to plans. fight for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to fight? Who do so I have to fight? 1v1? Tell me, anyone, who? <laughs> Who's going against right. me? Come on. <laughs> The winner takes all. The winner yeah, takes we'll, all. We'll have like a tournament or something. Nice. And the champion will get a skin in the game. Also, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, we'll we'll this definitely consider that, and we're gonna you know keep a very close relationship with the developers so they can listen to us. So that's also a very important way to. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's demand. always good to keep yeah. the uh, relationship with the developer um, good yeah, and yeah, on, a yeah, yeah, yeah. on a professional level. So um, uh, amazing job, guys. I really applaud you for everything you're doing. I always appreciate your time. And um, he promised me this is the last question because he really been asking, but just optimization in general for low end devices, if you could answer. Them. So optimization for Farah 84 has not been um, perfect. It has so far, it's not as good as uh, games like Free Fire. Um, we do understand that. And moving into next year, I, I am not gonna promise you that the game is gonna be optimized more than it is right now. But we uh, uh, we commit to optimizing the game um, at least as good as it is right now. Um, I think that's the strategy uh, we we uh, we are doing moving into 2024 because there are just so much uh, so so many changes that we are making to the game next year um, that I I I just can't promise you that it will get even better than it is right now. Uh, but we commit to uh, making it at least as good as it is it, it, it is right now. Right, perfect. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Um, if anyone else wants to speak, please raise your hand. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll be in chat. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Let me talk a little bit about how we are making Farlight 84 even better in 2024. Um, I think we have talked about um, the review for 2023 for this year in our special announcements, and we talked a little bit about how we imagine Farlight 84 to be next year and in uh, and moving forward. So, uh, I also watched a video from Tygon a few days ago. Um, I watched it a few times actually, and I think it was a great analysis of um, the state of Farlight 84 at the moment. Uh, most of it are things that we are we have also been thinking for quite a while uh, we have been thinking about most of the points Tygon discussed uh, throughout 2023 and you may actually um, see some of the changes that we are trying to make this year for example when we um, kept changing uh, the hero skills we were actually thinking about um, some of the points that, that he discussed and uh, but of course those are really those are really small, um, really small changes, and we expect uh, to have even more changes in 2024. Um, as we discussed in our special announcement, there are three areas of improvements that we are making to Farlight 84. The first one is gunplay, the second one is hero skills, and the third one is maps. Oh, well, hero 
it's not just skills, but heroes in general. We're, we're going to talk about um, heroes later on in the next question. Uh, so when it comes to gunplay, heroes and maps, uh, the reason why gunplay is always at the forefront is because even if we're thinking about changing heroes and maps, uh, the mechanics of heroes and maps are all related to gunplay uh, because we are a shooter game um, first and foremost. And that's a very important thing to remember when it comes to understanding um, the way that we are changing the game uh, into 2024. Um, we discussed that, uh, we discussed uh, the, the difficulty of designing a gunplay at the moment uh, because of a variety of reasons. The first one being jetpack. Um, I have seen a lot, a lot, a lot of comments and discussions around jetpacks, um, around don't remove jetpacks, uh, maintain, because yeah. jetpacks is a, a core part of Farlight 84, and it's a very important reason why Farlight 84 is so special and fun, fun to play. Yes, jetpack is really important uh, to us. Um, so uh, if we are making changes to uh, to jetpacks, we consider it very carefully and we think about it and test it in a variety of scenarios. Um, in fact, uh, one of the things that we have been testing um, in uh, recently uh, in the past since the past few months um, is first person perspective. So FPP, on the other hand, is one thing that the community has been asking for for a long time and we've been testing it um, for quite a while now um, and this is also another feature that if we have to include we have to think about the rest of the gameplay elements for example the jetpacks does it complement well with the first person perspective um, and the gunplay does it does it also uh, uh, this also goes well with first person perspective because first person perspective is a very, very highly demanded feature as well, but it's, compl it's a completely uh, a different design philosophy when it comes to designing an FPP um, game and a TPP game. Uh, so, so we have to, when, if we are to provide a, an FPP option, we have to consider um, how it will change um, the landscape uh, throughout gunplay, heroes, maps, and of course, jetpack. So, uh, we are doing a lot, a lot, a lot of testings and play tests behind the scene that you guys don't know at all. Um, I haven't even joined all of those um, uh, play test sessions, but yeah, we've been doing a lot of tests. So yeah, um, please expect a lot of changes um, moving into next year. We won't be making uh, all of the changes in one go. Um, uh, in one just one update, we will face them throughout several updates into 2024, and um, so yeah, <laughs> a lot is coming uh, in 2024. And and the first version update in 2024 in January next year, it will be a an important sneak peek into our grander plan for next year and forward. Okay, um, I would like to um, move on to the next question first before um, I take some questions. Um, so some there are also some comments that some of the changes made to heroes are unnecessary. Um, I have to say that it is not unnecessary. Um, the changes that we are making to the heroes, um, there are two parts of the changes that we're making. The first one is aesthetics, and that's the look of the hero. For example, Captain, we recently changed his look, and that's kind of like a um, just the aesthetic of the hero. And the second thing is the gameplay. So it's the skills of the hero, it's the balancing of the hero. Uh, those are the another facet of the hero changes that we make um, from time to time. So. Uh, why are these changes not unnecessary? Uh, the first one is um, a visual makeover. Is we we are undergoing an immense visual makeover moving into 2024. There will be a lot more aesthetic uh, changes, um, look changes to the heroes because we are moving into an all new brand for Farlight 84 moving forward. It is really important for us and really important for the community and you guys as well, um, because when it comes to, um, you know, building a brand within the battle royale genre and also 
you know, um, trying to differentiate ourselves in the market, it is really important for the community to grow. Um, so the one thing that we identify um, is that the brand, the look of Farlight 84, it needs to be even better. Um, so we will um, we will continue to make it better. And as we discussed in the special annou announcements as well, uh, we have been we have actually been testing uh, some of these looks through skins, which look really young and fresh, you know, really refreshing and really targeting an audience um, who who has a really good taste. Uh, compared to what's on the market, like you know, you know, you know what's on the market. COD, you know, there's COD, there's Apex on the PC, uh, not on mobile anymore. Um, there's High Energy Heroes, which is not globally launched as, uh, yet, and there is you know Free Fire, which is the biggest beast uh, in um, uh, some of the countries like India, Southeast Asia, and uh, Brazil. So. Uh, amongst all of these different battle royale genre, you will see that Farlight 84 will be one of the most good looking game when we move into 2024. I can assure you that. So yeah, so um, please accept the aesthetic changes to heroes first and foremost. There will be more aesthetic changes, not just to the heroes. There will be something that that is going to change. And that's also much demanded by the community for a long, long time. So please. Um, stay tuned um, when we move into 2024. Uh, I just I just recorded uh, the next, you know, um, what's next video today. Um, and that's for the end of this year. And I'm working on uh, the what's next video for, ne for January next year. So um, please stay tuned. And when it comes to hero skills um, and gameplay, they are also necessary because um, as we look into uh, changes in gunplay, we are actually trying to, and, and maps, uh, of course, we are actually trying to, and, and as we uh, explained, we're, uh, we target a fast time to kill uh, with Farlight 84. So that's kind of the core gameplay design philosophy uh, when we design Farlight 84. Um, someone mentioned, I, I think I read a, a comment on YouTube where someone mentioned that our TTK is very similar to Apex Legends, and that's true. Um, uh, this is kind of like the fa really fast-paced um, game that we're, we're, we're trying to design. Um, and when it comes to heroes and maps and gunplay, uh, in the new map that we are going to release in 2024, you will see a lot more of these um, changes uh, to hero skills that will make sense. That will, it, it will it's going to make more sense uh, when you when you play in the new map uh, with all of the new elements and so on and so forth. So um, sometimes I, I, I know that it may not make sense for um, for most people uh, in the short run, but you know in the long run it's all going to make sense. So very soon you'll see. <laughs> all right. Um, Frame rate drop. Um, I think it's a very uh, common issue um, that's reported after update. Um, so yeah, the, uh, we're going to upload this document. Uh, you can you can always refer to um, the document right here. And global release version for Nepal and Pakistan. Um, there's a test an early release a test version uh, that that's before the global version in Nepal and Pakistan. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, we're not going to separate um, the global release and the test server release. Future updates, collaboration, promotions for other regions. Um, so I think that's also something that um, uh, I discussed just now, where we are trying to uh, kind of um, build a, an even better brand for Fala 84. Um, that's really important uh, before, you know, we uh, do even more promotions in more regions. Um, so we are trying to build the brand at, at the moment. So bear with us. You will see um, a more, a way more good looking Farlight 84 very soon. So before that, we're not gonna, uh, we're, we're not gonna do too much on collaborations and promotions. Yeah. Okay. So will the images be buffed in the future? Buffed? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It's not going to be. Oh my much. god! It's just being so high. Like, it's uh, being uh, so high. Yeah, I, I think Amos is um, is is definitely going to change because 
um, because we are changing gunplay in general uh, for you know recoil etc. Um, so aim is is definitely going to be changed, but it's not it's definitely not going to be buffed. Um, that's something that I can uh, uh, I, I can say because uh, at the moment I think I, I already see a lot of PC players who you know some of them yeah. complain about aim assist on mobile being too strong. I don't I don't think it's necessarily um, uh, too strong at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it's it is definitely not going to be buff, be buffed. If you had any plans for Twitch drops in the future um, for creators. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. For Twitch drop, yeah, we have, uh, we have definitely have plans for the future because I think it's better when we launch it with our updates. It's like a, it's gonna be a very efficient that way, and we're gonna to use it promote our updates as well, and for our Twitch uh, uh, content creators as well. So that's actually something we uh, we've considered. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. And uh, I had one more question. Do you plan on making clans bigger? Because I, I looks like there are seven members total. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if I could just have a bigger clan to invite more members of the community. Yeah, we uh, we actually have uh, have that in uh, in our record. Um, we don't plan to change it at the moment. Um, but yeah, if we if we plan to change it, we're gonna uh, put it in the patch notes and watch the next video. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That was my question. So thank you all, and I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Bye. so much, guys. I appreciate you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you so much. You. For all of our community, we appreciate you, and thank you thank so, you so, so much. much. Have a good day, so, guys. Bye.